With Rampart now free to play, it's the perfect time to drop the biggest Rampart guide you'll ever need. As a Rampart main, I've learned a lot of cool little tricks that will completely change the way you play her. Let's jump into everything that I know about her so that you can dominate with her as well. First one, you can stop grenades and pretty much any ordnance abilities like Bangalore missiles by just putting a wall between you and them and this can save your life. You can see in this clip how close we were to dying and just a wall completely blocked an entire grenade that was right in front of our feet. You can also climb up to different places by using rampart walls. It's basically like a little climbing block and here's a good example of it in Olympus. There's a few spots all around the map on all of the maps in Apex. So just think about how that little bit of extra hype can maybe change how you can interact with the world. Oh, and of course, rampart walls are really perfect for super gliding. All right, here's one that people always ask me about. How do you put your Sheila back onto cooldown so that you can charge it up for later instead of running around with like two bullets in the gun, right? So basically, if you press the ammo select fire button, so on PC by default, it's B, you'll get up to 75% of your ult back. So for example, if I shoot one bullet here and I press it, I get 75% of my ult back. Now, if you have almost a full mag anyway, it's not really worth doing, but let's say you do a lot of damage to players, right? You use a lot of bullets. And then now, later on, 87 bullets isn't much. So you press this and you get about 50% ult charge back and then you're going to be ready in the next fight with a fully loaded Sheila. Probably one of the biggest mistakes I see a ramp up player make is they hold an angle like this, right? Okay, and when you're using any other gun, this is what you should do. You should hold your crosshair just past the corner so that when a player runs past, you'll actually have your aim on them and not have to readjust, right? That's typical aim training 101. Like, everyone does that. Uh, really good cross crosshair placement. But the trouble is with doing it with Rampart's Sheila is the laser sticks out and people are going to know exactly where you are and I mean if you're using the turret and holding up some angle you should have a wall up anyway so instead of doing this simply do this it's really crazy to think that literally just that will stop the laser from showing and people won't know that you've got a shooter up now there is a sound that plays as you can hear and people do hear that in third person but uh, it's not as obvious as the big laser and just to show, this is what it looks like in third person. As you can see, the laser is behind the wall. And just by aiming like that. And that's going to basically not give you away that you've got Sheila out. Let's do a couple more Sheila tips before I kind of move on to other stuff. One thing is, you basically have full accuracy even when jumping. Take a look at this, right? Once you've got that first uh, spread down, there's a bit of recoil, but you can literally jump around, right? Now, this is really important because Rampart's abilities are slow. Like, the turret makes you have really slow movement speed. But if you do this, you're not going to have really slow movement speed. You're going to have really fast movement speed and accuracy that's really, really good, right? Now, you can chain any movement ability in Apex with the Sheila so that you can hit any targets. So you can do super glides, you can bunny hop, you can tap strafe. Just have to realize one simple thing that there's a very simple kick that happens when you first start shooting and that goes away really, really quickly. And then it's like firing any other gun. Speaking of firing guns, let's talk about how to fire Sheila properly. You may sometimes see me beam players across the map with Sheila and wonder how exactly I'm doing it. And then you try it yourself and the Sheila bullets just go all over the place. Well, there's two things to understand about how Sheila recoil works. Firstly, when you first fire, the bullets kind of really do go all over the place. It's for about a split second and then the bullets center themselves and then it's just like using a normal gun. So you have an initial kick with the spread being all over the place for about a split second. To counter this, you kind of jiggle your aim left and right a little bit just for like a, a few times. If you jiggle your aim really quickly a few times as it first starts firing, and then just basically pull down. Now, the recoil control does take some time to get used to. I don't know how to explain it, but 
it's not really like trying to control the recoil, but more like trying to guide the bullet laser beam onto the target. If you just focus on the traces of the bullet and guide that onto your targets, and think about it like that, you're going to have a better time hitting things. Oh, and here's another weird recoil control tick trick sorry if you just spam left and right like this whilst you're firing the recoil basically just disappears uh it's it's odd but yeah this is a good one like this takes a little bit of getting used to but basically you just spam left and right and it's a lot easier to control as well can you believe so far this hasn't been a rampart guide this has been a sheila guide which is really funny that's only part of her kit uh, we're going to move on more on to the walls now, which are also really, really powerful and massively underrated. There's so many interesting things you can do with them. Obviously, it increases your damage, so that's really, really powerful. But I think one of the biggest things people struggle with uh, come down to two issues. Firstly, it is... I can't get my walls built up in time. I put them down, and then the players just shoot them before they build, right? Well, wow, it's a lot faster now, but yeah, people struggle with that. And the second thing is, I put my walls down, and people always shoot me through my own walls. So, for example, you put a wall here, and then you move up like this. And then, before you know it, you get a third party through your own wall. Well, the best way to play Rampart is you have to, have to, have to, have to always pick up your walls all the time if you don't you're gonna get screwed so the best way to do it is to put it on an easily accessible key for me i actually do scroll wheel down but for controller uh the shoulder triggers are good you really want to get tr shoulder triggers uh sorry back paddles you want to put it on the back paddles uh it's going to allow you to do things like this you can just walk through it right or you can go like that like it's no problem another trick as well which is another reason why you want it on an easily accessible button is you can like slide into it like this and push out and it gives you a little bit of a boost if you saw in the corner there there's a bit of a sort of uh serve error glitch yeah that if you time it right it gives you a speed boost as you push out of the wall and it's really good as you can see in this footage here we absolutely destroy a player by using it so yeah just by easily having it on a more accessible button you will pick up your balls as often as possible as rampart you need to do that get in the habit of it uh and that means you're going to get the most use out of it now that does mean you have to micromanage your abilities like crazy. The best ramp up players will literally be putting up the walls, putting them down, putting them down again, picking them up, putting them down, picking them up, putting them down, picking them, picking them, putting them up, like that, right? You're basically, yeah, it's crazy. The amount of buttons you have to press per second as a good ramp up player is crazy, but it allows you to do things like this, right? Okay, once again. How do you get your walls built up without them getting shot? Well, let's say you put this down, someone shoots it, okay, no problem, we'll move up to here. Let's beat that angle, oh, they're shooting it again, okay, no problem, we'll move up to here, right? It's all about sort of like, when you put a wall down, what happens is your player or your enemy is going to be like, oh, an amp uh, a ramp wall, quick, let's shoot it before it gets destroyed. That does two things. It d puts their aims, focus on this wall, and also it's going to make them reload soon, right? So by actually being behind cover, you're going to get them to shoot the wall. You can get a free peek, right? And then, depending on how it's going, like maybe you kill them or not. If not, then you can slide here and put another wall down. You're behind cover. You can peek out again, right? The wall is actually good, right? People shooting the wall, you may be like, oh, I can never get my walls down. But guess what? People shooting your wall is the best thing that can happen because it's so, so useful for getting people's aim off of you and also forcing them to reload. So we can put that down. We can literally just wait here until they reload, right? And then you can just be like, oh, hi. Yeah, bye. Right? And let's say they do break the wall, right? Uh, you still have a pretty good piece of cover, right? It's not the best, but it is pretty good. And one thing you can do if, like, you're in a really bad situation, if you crouch like this, you probably had it where you actually die, right? You're crouching like this, and they shoot the tip of the top of the of your head. Firstly, you can see a little dip there, right? You don't want to sit in the very center. You want to be at the edge, and then you're pretty good to go. And don't aim up, right? Don't aim up aim down and ads and then you are safe you're not gonna take damage uh they won't be able to hit you until they destroy your wall basically and here's another little tip here hang on let me just take some uh shield damage so right when you also pop a shield cell 
Giving my shields a you can do the same thing, right? Your head uh, can look down, and then you're not going to get shot. So pretty good. So hopefully you're getting kind of the idea that rampart walls, uh, the best way to use them is just to place them down as much as humanly possible. They are your friend. They are basically like, in a way, a mirage decoy that doesn't move. If you think about it like that, then you understand their value. Now, uh, you can get a free peek anywhere on the map, whether you're 50 miles away or right up close. All you need to do first is be behind cover. And then look at this, right? Here's a tip. We can place this wall out of cover, okay? Right? We're not even peeking right now. Like if we go into third person view, none of our body is showing, right? That dummy doesn't have an angle on us. But we can go like that, right? And then we have the cover. We can basically get a free peek every single time we want to and if there's nobody there we can just pick it up and then move on and then maybe we're like okay we're gonna get a free piece of cover here let me go back into first person so it's better shown you can literally put any wall uh sorry any wall outside of cover and then you're good to go right pretty awesome now here's another tip as well let's say you're dealing with a dude all right this happens a lot okay you put a wall down it's broken like this and then what they do is they're shooting you like this bam 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 and then they come up here and then they start doing this and it's really annoying you're like what am i supposed to do this guy is like on one hp but he keeps head glitching around my wall right well just do this and then they're out in the open, and it's an easy kill. And you know what's about to happen, right? You know you're going to pick up your wall. You're both out in the open, but they're not going to expect it. The amount of times I've killed people because they literally... you got this sweaty horizon main, right? She does this. She throws her ult on your wall. You destroy the ult, and then your wall's broken, and then they're just like this. Literally. It will make them look like such an idiot if you just go like this and then they're just jumping in the open and, and you're like, oh, I don't have any cover anymore. I can't just head glitch around this little thing anymore. And yeah, kabam, they're dead, right? It's pretty good. All right, I honestly do think that the best way to play Rampart is out in the open. Uh, she's really a good aggressive legend. Let's say we're out in an open field, right? And we want to move from point A to point B, okay? So we have that. We have the free peak, okay? And then we can... Now that this is built, we can build up the momentum for a slide, slide along, put another wall down, peek again, right? And then keep doing it until all we know is we're up where we want to be. Maybe there's an enemy there and they've not really had a chance to shoot at us. They may be shooting our walls, but because we can build up that slide and count like uh, basically reduce the amount of time we're moving slowly by having this wall here, right? We slide, put down the wall, okay? And then when we're ready, we can... Uh, this dummy is in the way a little bit. But yeah, we can slide again, put down another wall. You, you have very little time where you're out in the open. I think any good player, really, when they're looking at rotating through the map, they're always thinking about what cover there is anyway, right? So, I mean, we have this here. It may block line of sight. Let's say there's like a sniper up there, right? We can slide along to this block uh, here. And then we kind of have this open space. We have to cross this open space where there's a dude up there firing at us with a 30-30 repeater. Well, just like before, we have this cover. We can build one wall here, right? It gives us a bit of cover and we can slide along and pick it up again. And then just keep creating cover as we're going along. And as we're sliding, we can turn around and pick up our walls. So we basically, if as long as they don't shoot the wall, because if you shoot it, you don't get the cooldown back. But if they don't shoot it, you can pick it back up and just keep, like, having this piece of cover. And you can keep them there for your teammates to rotate through as well. So just think about how the walls are really effective at giving you movement through the map very safely. Uh, it's a lot of work, a lot of micromanagement, right? But it does work. So now let's talk about setting up in a building. There are times where you're going to want to set up in a building and you're going to want to play around doors. So let's set up some uh, scenarios for where you're inside, where there's different situations. Firstly, obviously, Sheila can just bust through doors. So uh, two scenarios, someone's trying to kick your door or someone's healing behind the door. Then literally all you have to do is just blam and they're going to be dead. They might sidestep out of the way, but at that point you want to put away your Sheila and just slide around and uh, finish them off. It, the DPS on Sheila is so high that they don't have a chance really. Um, another scenario, let's say you don't have Sheila up and there's a dude on your door, he's healing, you know, he's blocking the door or whatever. Uh, firstly, 
I would put this up here because maybe there's players flanking. All right, uh, another tip. Uh, maybe there's players flanking. If this guy's holding the door, who cares? You've got time to do this, right? And then, here's what you do, right? I put this wall here to signify the other player because uh, if that wall's not there, the door's just going to swing wide open. Here's what you do. Look how quick this is, okay? Perfect timing. You can double kick the wall and then step back at the exact time it takes for this amped cover to build, which means this guy who may be preparing to get a shot at you no longer can because he now has to shoot through your amp wall and you're ready to just shoot him, right? You are ready to just take him out, okay? And then if there are players flanking, you already have your walls set up. And um, here's what you can do, okay? Uh, what's gonna happen in this situation Either you kill this guy or he's gonna flank out this way Okay, so you can slide out and chase him. That's another thing a lot of players don't expect a rampart player to do They always see a rampart. Um, let's find a new door. Okay, we need a new door Any doors anywhere? They're all busted This is <laughs> all right, here we go. A lot of players will see a rampart sitting behind a door, right? Okay but there's nothing stopping you just getting a quick peek, right? And then just going back in. You're like a little angry turtle, right? Just imagine you're a little angry turtle and someone's bothering you. You're just like, ah, oh, quick back inside, right? Oh, there's another dude. Ah, oh, quick back inside. Nobody expects that. Everyone expects the rampart to just sit stationary inside a door, which is, you know, a bit silly. Now, speaking of which, people will sometimes nade you to oblivion and try and push through your walls. So. Whenever I'm set up in the late game, I always think about a secondary line of defense, right? I like to do this. I like to put one wall in the corner so that if I see people breaking this door, because what will happen is a lot is people will do this, right? They will... Uh, hang on. Let's fix this door real quick. Uh, busted. Hang on. So you have your wall here, right? It'll be pressed against the door. Um, but for this educational purpose i have to do it like that so the door actually what dude what's going on <laughs> all right so a lot of people what they'll do is they have the whole team here they'll kick this door right and then they'll jump over and then they'll be like kablam right and you're standing here this is why i like to have a corner here for two reasons okay um, firstly, if they throw a bunch of nades in, you can slide to this. Uh, this is a bit further away, honestly. I'd rather we're in a smaller building, um, because we can slide to it easier. But you can do this, and then you're protected from nades, and you also got an angle. And usually, I would actually put one on either corner, right? Because what that does is you have this one, and also your teammate can be in this one. And you can also super glide between them like that if needed. Um, so you have two pieces of cover. Because what they're going to do, they're going to come barreling through this door. Then they can aim at you like this, right? And then you can super glide to this one. Obviously, there's this weird block in, block, in the, block in the way, so not perfect. And then you have more cover to deal with. And then you can sort of slide out and then, you know, you can look at about how to reposition and stuff, um, you know. And then probably you want to get out of the building. If they're still pushing you and they're not dead, you want to just get out whatever way you can, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's a little bit of thought about uh, placing doors, walls inside, is you don't just want to place it up against the wall because that is literally your only line of defense. If they break that, they're in. You can literally just do this if you want as well. Like, if you have got your back covered, you could be like this. And then they break that wall. Let's say there's a door here. They break that door. You can always just slide back behind this one, you know? All right, look, we're almost at 20 minutes already. I, I have so many more things to cover. I, I don't want to make this like a giant, like, one-hour video. So maybe we could do a part two. But I just want to leave with one more thing for you uh, to think about. And that is weapon profiles. I would say all of the weapons in this game are balanced in quite an interesting way. And that is... They want it to be pretty hard to one clip, right? They don't want anyone to just have an easy time one clipping people. It's something that is not going to happen often so that when you do it, you feel really great. And I think that's part of their balance design. Um, but when you have a, a wall that gives you plus 20% damage, uh, it's kind of ridiculous, right? So this is a normal R9 shot, okay, right? 11 bullets, uh, 11 damage. And then it's 13 behind here. Now, this changes all of the dps and time to kill for all weapons in the game so whilst an r9 may not really be that usable anymore for one clipping if you got it behind the wall it's really no problem even if you miss a few shots it completely changes the way you can look at weapons you can look at something like 
say, a Spitfire, okay, which typically has a really bad time to kill. Uh, where is it? It's over here. And that extra 20% damage really changes things up. So instead of doing 15 damage, you're now doing, what, 7? 22, right? And suddenly, it's really powerful. So you can think about what weapons you may actually really like playing, but you feel like they're just not really that powerful. As long as you have a wall, it really changes things up and changes the weapon profiles and... You can make other weapons with perhaps larger mag sizes and lower time to kill work. Or if you struggle to one clip with the R9 anymore, uh, it's now possible because you have the extra damage. So just something to think about. The weapons that you main with Rampart can be really flexible because of the amp walls. And I mean, once you get good with playing Rampart, you're going to be putting your walls up all the time. The amount of time that you face a target without an amp wall should be minimal. There's no reason, like if you want to be a good rampart, there is no reason why you shouldn't always peak with an amp wall. It's tiring at times, and a lot of the time I'm like, ah, I don't need an amp wall, and then I die, right? Just use it, use the abilities, you have them. Just always peak with an amp wall. Get into the habit of just every time you peek a corner, just press that button combo first, right? And then you're good to go. So that's it. That's uh, a bunch of Rampart tips. Like I say, I have so much more I could cover, so maybe we'll do a part two if this does well. But hopefully you all found this useful. Have fun with Rampart, and uh, I guess I'll see you out there. We're going to see a bunch of Rampart uh, this next couple of weeks, so that's going to be fun. Thanks, guys. I'll see you all in the comments. Cheerio.